the Trump administration and Trumpites have ushered in a mindset that says, fuck your feelings. I know I've talked about this before, <clears throat> but the way that we've been able to get along in the past, while people have very, very differing opinions, is caring about people's feelings. It's trying to go out of your way to make sure you're not hurting people. What the Trump administration has ushered in, and it's not Trump himself, there's just there's kind of a culture behind Trump supporters. Now, obviously, there's a reason why Trump supporters are the way that they are, and much of that is because of the way that Trump is. These people like the way that Trump is because Trump is one of these fuck your feelings kind of people. Just like there's a culture behind Hillary supporters, you know, and I'm talking generally, it's not, it's not saying all the time, that you go out of your way to try to hurt people's feelings. And then when you see people get hurt, you see, ha ha, fuck your feelings. That's just essentially what's happened. And it's strange to watch religious people do this while claiming to somehow be morally superior to, the, to people who aren't religious. The left is starting to not care about people's feelings. I think it really started after Trump won the primaries, and then it just got worse and worse. You could call it Trump derangement syndrome if you'd like, but doesn't matter what you want to label it as, it's, we have this problem in front of us. Yelling, fuck your feelings, isn't going to help. Do you know what, it, you know what the left does when they don't care about people's feelings? They'll talk about things like cis heteronormativity, white privilege, patriarchy. They'll call you a rape apologist. They'll say you're misogynistic. They'll say you're homophobic. You're racist spewing these things as insults. Other things they do when they get pissed enough is they punch what they view as Nazis. They start riots. That's what happens when the left stops caring. Do you like it? No. And if you keep saying to them, fuck your feelings as your answer, they're only going to get worse. Okay? This aggression against aggression, against aggression, against aggression. It's just, it's just going to get worse. We need to find a way to care about people's feelings regardless of if we agree with the other people or not. We need to at least try to get an understanding of people with differing viewpoints. You don't have to agree with them, but at least get a reasonable understanding of their positions and not just these straw men that you can take and say, see, they're the bad guys. Now, I have a lot of work to do on that myself, but I think we could all use some work on that. We need to give a shit about people's feelings on all sides. Otherwise, we're not going to make it as a civilization. We can't be multicultural and yet not give a shit about people's feelings. Now, if you say, well, we shouldn't be multicultural, well, that, that opens a whole new can of worms. How, how would we even, what, we're going to just say that there's this one culture, monocultural, I guess, is that the right word for it? How, how would we enforce that? Wouldn't that have all the same problems as a theocracy or actual fascism? What's the difference? Should we really be cramming one set of rules down everyone's throats, or should we have a, a more open kind of system like we've got now? Thing is, with the system we've got now, you have to, you've, you've got to at least do some amount of caring about other people's feelings, or the, it, it, this shit's gonna, gonna go bad, man. It's gonna go bad. Do you see Antifa caring about people's feelings? That's the thing that's wrong with Antifa, is that they don't care about people's feelings. Can you, can you not put these things together? Are you just, are you just going to keep, oh, they started it. It's like, it doesn't matter who started any of this. What matters is how we react to the scenario we're in. And if your reaction is fuck people's feelings, you're 
part of the problem. 